The shooting was caught on surveillance video. Two men walk up, discuss something, then the shooter goes inside. She looks up, uh, the gun goes off, and he's out the door. It all takes about four seconds, but police don't believe Peggy Gayton was targeted. They say she doesn't have any enemies. She wasn't involved in anything nefarious that would uh, lead us to believe that this was a, a attack on her. Investigators say it could be a robbery gone wrong since the suspects didn't take anything. The thing that makes me think it's a robbery is the second guy coming in the door. If it was just going to be a flat murder, there'd be no need for that guy to be coming in. Whatever the motive, a woman lost her life. Customers were turned away Friday. They know a lot of the customers by name, and um, this is a regular stopping place for a lot of people in the neighborhood. So. Um, it's just shocking. Peggy's family is devastated. She wanted the world to make a living, like I said, for herself, for her kid, granddaughter. Peggy's ex husband is still very close with her. They were married for more than 20 years. She, uh, she liked her. She was a good person. She was, uh, to me, was a very good person. He says she just took in their granddaughter to raise. The little girl's future is now undecided. She won't be there to, to open the present for, for the baby. She won't be there for her. That's what bothers me.